so we've got a little bit of wind in the southeast we've got to run outside from what we know we're gonna have a bit of chop going over so we're gonna go nice and slow we also have to catch a dinner before we get there and in an hour from now it's dark so we're heading 10 k's out through the channels here and the islands weaving out to the island still place called Sunday island and we're going to be camping at a place called dugon camp at sid harbour Y'all see me flying, never drop down, drop down, smoking high, am I am not round, I'm not round, no denying what I got now, I got now, keep an eye out, keep it locked down, locked down, see me flying, never drop down, drop down, smoking high, am I am not round, I'm not round, no denying what I got now, I got now, keep an eye out, keep it locked down, locked down. Too strong, wanna battle with the beast, bring a few one. The commander and the chief for my crew. There we go, 2500 kilometer drive. Broken suspension. Jerry rigged it up, MacGyvered it all the way up here. We launched the boat at sunset. We've never been here before. We're about to touch foot to land the boat on which Sunday Island. Is that home, guys? Is that home? For the next eight days. Have a look at this magnificent, deserted island. Literally no human beings on this massive island. They come here, but they'll never stay here. You only get to visit this place. And wow. This is the Whitsunday Islands in Queensland. The first thing that strikes me about this place, right, it is is it's ancient. You look at these trees and you think, some of these trees are literally got to be hundreds of years old. And you wait till we show you around this place over the next few videos we do. Like, just, just around this morning here, the trees on the rocks there have never seen swell in their life. And they're growing literally hundreds of year old bonsai pine tree type trees growing down right on the water's edge. It's literally like a Japanese garden around here. I'm gonna get the drone up later when the sun's out and just show you around this. It's, it reminds me of Canada, New Zealand, but in the tropics, you know? It's that real ancient twilight, the movie look feel, you know? You, you can imagine it snowing here. And we have no idea, no idea where the fish are or what to fish for. And we deliberately didn't put too much effort into that because that's part of the adventure of coming here. So any fish is significant for us. Even if it's this big, it's, a, it's our first fish. And if we get giants, well, that's just a bonus. But that's uh, Tilly, guys. She's a five metre dinghy with a hundred horsepower Tilly. And that's why she's called Tilly. I wonder what the... I wonder what the rich people are doing today. Hey? Will it happen today? No, he's trying to put pancakes. Oh yeah, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> That's cooking nicely. <laughs> now you're getting... I'm just gonna go up to do this. And, uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. Some qualified pancake boy. Is that enough, you reckon? Oh, he's doing little pipettes now. Yeah. What if it's a mid size? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, you've already no, done no, it. It's already started cooking. You can't just add batter to it until you cook. It's just huh? Oh, too big. <laughs> pipettes, mate. Pipettes is the trick. Dave, I'm doing my live diary log. Just be quiet for a sec. <laughs> Yeah, I did, didn't I? So, if we may be rolling to Double Rock, Two Rock, whatever it's called, tomorrow with a handful of Fusiliers. Fuse dogs. Yep, the old Fuse dogs. And hopefully, I can catch my first, first fish in the Whit Sundays. I'd like to give three eviction points to Dave, because um, he may have wrecked the motor. Um, so hopefully he gets evicted tomorrow.
<laughs> and that's my diary log. Out. I can't get to it. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm not too worried about fishing just at the moment. I'm happy to stay here for a bit. <laughs> Have a morning at the camp. Yeah, well, we can't do much anyway. If you look at that boat, it's at least 25 metres out of the water. Two, go! Oh, one, two, three! Oh, it was beautiful, beautiful land. I, I am just, um, I had no idea that it was like this. These islands are literally millions of years old and some of these are untouched by fire and everything on it is ancient. Every tree, every bush, every rock, every bit of lichen, ancient. Some of these trees, I swear to God, look like they're a thousand years old. It's incredible. Yes. Yes, for sure. There is lichen and there's moss. And there is something that are something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look like a coral. Trout. Look like a little corally trout oh, thing. Oh, I'm good, good. Oh. Go, Washo. We need food, mate. It's oh, a coral trout. trout. Yes. Oh, no, yes. Okay. No, I don't want to lose it. Sorry, right, mate. I'll help you. Don't Dinner. fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Make no mistake about it, we are at the wind Sundays to catch very big fish and we're going to catch very big fish. But unfortunately, weather, we had to, had to just make a decision that we need food first. So we're using this weather to get food. So what have we got here? I think it's a Spanish... What is that? Oh, that's a rass. Like a normal rass from at home. Yeah. That's just a common Melbourne rass. <laughs> what the hell? It's all the way. <laughs> I could have caught that at bloody Flinders Pier. And the weed beds. <laughs> that's a normal, common human bass. But I tell you what though, I'm going to get a good picture. Am I looking at him, Washo? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, now I'm going to get some good, some good contrast on there. Get some, some saturation, a bit of vibrance. Touch up those beautiful fins. He's actually a beautiful little fish. Beautiful little fish. I bet you'd be tasty. Oh yeah. Hello. We don't Hello. Know what it wave, is. Oh, wave. Common Melbourne rat. Yeah, so make no mistake about it. We are here just catching food because on day one, we need food. See how we rigged up the plastics, guys? <laughs> <laughs> is that for real? It's for real, buddy. And we cast them back at the reef edge. Watch, guys. We just cast them back at the reef edge. <laughs> See? That's why you're catching normal, common, regular Melbourne rat. Yes, it's the Melbourne rat method. It's fused into a lair. Two of them have actually fused. Oh my god. It's like some kind of. It's a leather jacket. It's a trigger fish. Oh, that's pretty. I caught the prettiest trigger fish in history. That's a good thumbnail. No, it'll be saturated enough. Get a, get a good angle on for saturation. Oh my god, it's milking at me. The most beautiful trigger fish. So, it's like fishing in the aquarium. These are known for trigger fish because of this thing on their dorsal. It just, it trigger. It just triggers into people's fingers and stuff. It's croaking at me. It's triggering croaks. Make the noise back at it. <laughs> Next time I get one of those orange dogs, I'm going to feed it to the eagle. There's one in that tree just landed.
freaking seagull circling the boat and hand feeding it bloody fish like that it's just incredible sight oh. got him not quite <laughs> Paratrauma, halfway. Oh boy. Oh my god. That is what we came for. That is the shiz. And it's right on the same spot as last time, too. Alright, these are called fusiliers. There's a few different species of them, but these are the ones we're after. Apparently, they are gun. Mac dog bait. And I don't know what it is, but it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. What the hell is that? It's like some kind of dart thing. Let's go. Alright, we're heading out to the Twin Towers. Double Rock. I've renamed it. He said you ready and prepared Take a minute and make them aware Well I'll be sneaking in the back But it's one to clap on me life and fair Caught me crawling through the mud Where the vision saw I clearly Born a shepherd to these sheep Make them fear me This a war zone Trashed out Trap house Nothing ever forgiven Yeah every day's a blessing Thank the Lord Oh how I'm living See me riding with my top down Pile cops round Pedal pressing on the gas I don't think I'll ever stop The stick bait got chased on the first. Really? Yeah, as soon as I landed in the water, there was a splash right next to it. Alright. Dave's so cutting the bait down. He's in it. Alright, go, mate. Help. Yep. We're gonna have a wet ride today, guys. Sorry about the vision, but that's how it's gonna be. Oh. There's a Mac on the screen. One Mac. Two Macs. Down deep. I'll that put it in. Drifted past. They're not very lively fish, I don't think they're going to tow very well. Put a sinker with a rubber band. No, no, no sinker, he said. Raining, wet, cold, wet Sundays, winter, but we've still got shorts on. That's hook passage back there, and the wind's up. And we've got these rocks in the middle of the ocean. As soon as we got here, we saw mackerel jumping. Oh, they're under us. Straight under the boat. Vertical jig, someone. There's no point in me putting anything with that wire on it. No. But they're right straight under the boat. Put a jig on. Just put a jig yeah. straight on. Like a, oh, look, look at them all. Look at them. Oh, is this a sinking? Mackerel. Oh, no, it's floating. Keep that in the bank holder. Oh. 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 You got hit. Oh. Oh. He's on. Dave's on. Back, You're on. Back attack. Yes. <laughs> Davis. The fusilier. Hit. Crazy. Crazy. Direction changes. Bounce the boat up the front, please, Washo. Crazy. This is you fish TV again, Dave. Yeah. Wild shit. Can we get a, a little map or something? Yep. Actually, this. can we, you see me on your side? It'll be a lot easier. Alright. Well, can you just walk over? I can't. I can't really do much. You just have to walk yeah, it over. I can't. Dave. Just walk. Don't rush him. Just walk him around. How's the drag pulling? I can't do anything. You have to drive off him. Alright. 
I've got to go quick, he's coming up the boat. Alright, now wind him up so he doesn't reach us. Just get the other side of the boat if you can. Turn, 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 turn. Right. 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 It's a good fish, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Oh shit, I'll, everyone make sure their feet are out of the way. Oh, the boat's in the absolute mess. We weren't even ready for this. Yeah, here comes a big game boat. Steal our fish away from us. I think it's a decent fish. Yeah, I reckon it'll be about 15. Oh, oh you serious? What? It's a wire. No, I just pulled the hook. Are you joking? It was an animal. There's still everywhere under the boat. So just get another one back out. Those straight back in, or it just goes one up straight up again. What are the chances? We have to stay at the front of the boat somewhere at all times or water will come over the back. We're loaded to the max at the back here. Oh man, that sucks. Well, there you go, fusel is. Okay. He was swimming down. Right, hunt up some big metal jigs, mate. Get some, get, do some. Yeah. Whoa. Put the big jigs on. Probably can't with that rod, though, can he? Yeah. Ready? Lewis. Oh, you are. Yeah, baby! <laughs> I'm filming. Beautiful. Oh, I can't do much because I can't get down there. He's going to go to the reef. Oh, they don't reef do they? No. They're, they're, pelag they're pelagics. So we try and get a double. I'll bring mine in. Oh, listen to that scream. I think you gave time to eat it, so hopefully it looks really well. I'm going to spin you around. So it's going down like it's not a, not a, it's going down like a kingfish or a cobia or something. Could be a kingfish. Do you want me to spin you around? Huh? Where are we at? It's going straight down this fish. I don't know. It's 50 meters of water. Maybe it was a shark. I was trying to go straight down. It was very weird. I reckon. No, I the Spaniards don't reef you, mate. Never. It's not there. It's not their DNA. Yeah, well, that's possible. We are getting hammered here. It's actually amazing, don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, as you can see here, Davey Dugon and Brendan. We are getting absolutely hammered by a tropical monsoon we're at least 30 k's away from base and we've just got this crazy monsoon rain coming it's pepper it's coming a bit monsoon isn't it oh yeah we thought it would be later too soon i'm actually fucking breathing <laughs> It's actually cold. 
Don't be deceived, but we don't have any other clothes. So that's what we've got to wear. We just thought, you know, it's Queensland, it'll be warm and sunny. Bloody hell. Oh, well, 20 k's to go. Youfish TV is proudly brought to you by fighttackle.com.au, Total Solar Solutions, Melbourne Marine Centre, Shimano Fishing Australia, Mercury Marine, Gamma Katsu Hooks by Frogleys Offshore, Menace Marine, ICOM, Tonic Uranium Eyewear and Immersion Apparel.